just uh, justified. You know, that I can agree with you. But then it's not justifying what they are doing to the Israel citizens. Israel citizen. When you can see all the... I can tell you, wait, at least 99% of those who were murdered at that day were people for peace, were people who were yes, activists. Could activists. be, yeah, it's tragic. No, no, I, I can, I know. I can guarantee you. Okay, but if you I want know, to know what wait, Hamas wait. is, no, no, no. listen to the, the hostages who were released. Their interviews and what they say the about Hamas. What, they say? We what do they say? Gunpoint? What do they say? What they say? What they say? They were well treated. No, 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 no. no. They were not oh, raped. There's, there's no rape. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> you, you saw probably the videos where, when they just got released. Yes. Okay, so when, when they were like uh, forced to tell this story because. No, no, no. Yes. Afterwards, also. No, no, no. They were I've seen them all. So there have been interviews with them after telling all the horrors stories that they, they would be faced over there. Like kids who had to, to do their to dump in a, in a, in a fucking like... A, oh massacre. yeah, well, okay, kids but they, the, 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 the they Palestinians live under the same conditions. A raging mob. They were starved. They were yeah. abused. They were what? sexually abused. You, you so okay, wait, wait. Like there, there, is there is a problem here that I'm willing to examine because, you know, after Hamas broke through the, the fence, there was all sorts of other Palestinians who came through who were not Hamas fighters. They came one to loot. Yeah, they were looters. And maybe they committed crimes as well. And they should be prosecuted. We're talking they, in civil court. Well, one, this Hamas is not is never a. We're going to prosecute them. Second, why not? We're, because Hamas is not a terrorist. They have law. And they have Islamic no, no, law. No, 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 no. And we have Hamas is a evidence of Hamas, Hamas holding them in tunnels in inhumane conditions. Yeah, but the same conditions the girls, that they live in. Raping the girls. You know, no, it's no. not the same. You know, I no, read. No, I was never read, heard of such a report. Wait, wait, wait. How can you say they're I just read. Because the, the, I haven't heard any testimony. You know, the, the Israel people, police hasn't filed any sort of, you know, such report. It's just the Israel military that's they're giving such reports. Military and the police finding, are two different things. They're finding Hitler's mind camp. They will come to kill you two ways. Yes. No, I live there. They could have killed me any time. You understand Hebrew? No. Okay. Just Yiddish. That's Adina Moshe. 77 years old, who was just released, and she describes how they're... Oh, I haven't seen that video. Okay, okay it'll listen? appear with a translation. I'll listen to it. Look, there, there is to, like, a... Give a high five to the... They were, they were yeah, well, yeah, they were treated okay, you no, know, generally, no, no, as far no, as no. I can see. No, 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 no. That, that was a game. And they were going from home to home massacring people, so if you want to talk about genocide, October 7th. There were some uh, civilians who were also reserve soldiers, and when Hamas came in, they picked up their gun and they started to fight. they defending themselves yeah, against? Yeah, defending like, there, yeah, there was nothing happening. Yeah, Hamas so they were shooting and they got shot back, yeah, you know, so what do you expect? Look, the day that you put, that you condemn what happened on October 7th, and to call the release of the hostages, along with that... I call for the release of the hostages, sure, why not? That's obvious. No, it's not obvious. But I want to... But not. I'm not in favor of releasing the hostages without conditions. Okay. The conditions are the release of the Palestinian hostages. They're not they're prisoners. They're prisoners. They're, no, they're not. They're, they're not charged <coughs> under administrative detention. No charge. Yes. Because in 1948, when the UN round most people have a claim of the land. In, the, in 1947, when the UN declared the partition plan, the Jews were out dancing in the streets. The Arabs were out trying to kill the Jews. This is when the story ended. That's no. it. Yeah, there we go. What do you say about the... No. The, the, the Palestinians were massacred since 47. The militias, both Hamas and Irgun, went into villages like Deir Yassin, and they killed about 75 people in each village, and then all the rest ran away. It was documented. Hebron in 49. I'm 75. Hebron massacre. Hebron massacre in 49. Hebron massacre was way before Israel was even born. Arab, it's called Fida. The massacre they did in Israel. You know, you're talking to me about some small massacres in 1936, you know. No, it's not small. Compared to the Holocaust, it means nothing. Everything matters. You know, who killed the Jewish people as a people? The Christians. And now you're playing footsie with the Christians against the Palestinians? What do you have to say? What do you have to say? They're supposed to be our allies against the Christians. What do you have to say? Because the Christians are the ones who are genocidal. What do you have to say about Muhammad's slaughter? Even the Vatican. Even the Vatican. In 600, 600 CE. Muhammad's army went into Kabar, Medina, massacred and killed an entire Jewish city. Medina used to be a Jewish city, now it's Islamic. Uh -huh. Mecca used to be pagan, now it's Muslim. What do you think? If we give them half of Jerusalem, they have to give us half what of Mecca. That's what I say. 
Take it back. Who wants half of Mecca? What what's this? No, 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 okay. You know, like, okay, you know, like, uh, why do you think that has something to do with me? No, but like, some Arab countries. countries. What happened to the Jews in the Arab countries? Why aren't they there? Why? Because they were discriminated against. I have, I have some, I have one story. Well, I want to hold the No, from one of, they weren't expelled. They, yes, they were. They were you know, actual. What, physically? You know, killed? Israelis, yes, physically. Israelis, Israelis in the, in the. Um, in Syria. You know, Israel's in the, in the, in fashion, Syria. In the fashion industry. Oh, I know in Iraq that some Zionists put a bomb in a synagogue in order to convince okay. everybody you know, to leave. You know, a lot of Israelis in the fashion industry, they work with people oh from Gaza and they may, and they give them a lot of money for, and they work together. And before the war that was now, and the people from Gaza, I just read an interview with one yeah, of those like people, and they religion. they lose lost a lot of money because of, of the war and everything that happens now. And the people from Gaza that used to that used to be super rich because of like the cooperation between the two, they were against Hamas also, and they said all the time, we have to all the time change the way we we transfer all of our like stuff from Gaza to Israel because Hamas inspects everything. Hamas tried to put weapons on it and all this kind of stuff in our in our like uh, in our uh, packages and everything and now because of Hamas these people they don't just have to do that they have tunnels into Egypt they get all their material for the for the tunnels and everything but they did, from people from, from Iran Gaza, people from Qatar Gaza pays for you know the regular you know like expenses of the government but people from Gaza said but they are. get the military you know from funding Gaza from from, you know, from Iran from Gaza that says that Hamas is, 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 they can't even like protest against Hamas because it's a threat for their lives. Oh, well, yeah, any, you know, political party yeah, can, you know, make a dictatorship. Which is, they don't have, so their laws, yeah. their laws is like to kill people who, who rebel against them. So that's not like the laws they work Nobody's with. Nobody's rebelling against them now, anyway. Why? Nobody, you know. because all the people that rebelled against them are dead now. You know, <laughs> at the, the election in 2006, they had an election yeah. that Hamas won, and but they only won by... By five percent, you know, they were like forty percent, you know, they got and Fatah, Fatah only got thirty five percent, you know. And then they murdered and then they had a civil war there, Have yeah. Have you seen all the videos how they but, murdered all the people? But now the support for Hamas has gone from forty percent to seventy three percent. Okay, so now we need to open the gates for all the people. Because of what Israel has done. No, because they no. believe they believe they they have the rights for the whole land. Hamas That's why, not because Hamas, of us. Hamas, you know, it's not because of us. Israel. No, well, why did Hamas say that it's willing to recognize Israel? No, they're not. They when have they said so. That? No, yeah, no. even no. published in the New York Times and Washington Post. Op-eds. What they Yesterday, said was that they would commit October 7 over and over again if they could. Two days ago, <coughs> uh, Khaled Mashal, you know Khaled Mashal, the head yeah. of Hamas in uh, Qatar, he said October 7, open the horizon, we want it from the river to the sea, from Washanikra up in the north to a lot in the south. The whole thing. We will take nothing less. Nothing less. Well, you have, you have to listen to him. Google him. Khaled Mashal, last interview, recent, two days ago. You know, of course, they consider leader. Palestine to be what it was before. But they're still willing to recognize Israel. No, they're, not. They're, 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 they're willing to compromise and recognize Israel. Has Israel negotiated in a mutual recognition? Has it tried? No. Yes. 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 Right. Maybe yes. Of yes. Now what you see, we have no. the Only with Fatah. And with Fatah? You know, Fatah recognized Israel, but Israel did not recognize Palestine. Why do you think Israel that was the problem with Oslo. Surrounding country except for Palestine. Hmm? Why do you think that Israel went peace with every other surrounding country except for Palestine? You know, I was I was born in the 90s, like all my youth. Why? Israel does not. Speak of promising to do it over and over again. Yes, it's true. Yeah. If this is not settled, if there is not a negotiated ceasefire, then Hamas will continue. There's already been one ceasefire, so that demonstrates it's possible to negotiate with Hamas. Because when they got, when they got Aoud Ulmert was willing to give them 99% of what they wanted. I know because my father-in-law was there. And you can, and, and you know what? You can know to read uh, Condoleezza Rice's book. Yes, but they Barak left the, the, the negotiations. Not Barak, I'm not talking about Barak. I'm talking about a generation after Barak. Ehud Ulmert was willing to give them 99% of what they want. El, uh, Ariel Sharon, we left we Gaza completely, left them, 
a, a, a ready-made economy, just move in. Nothing ever works. We try to have peace with them so many times. They want from